On now to talk about the uh, Targeted Violence uh, Task Force. And to do that, I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by Chief Seaman and uh, Sheriff John Mina. Well, first of all, thank you both very much indeed for joining us. Really appreciate it. A busy conference. So yeah, good to be here. So talk, talk to me a little bit about the task force. What is it? So the task force came together, uh, myself and uh, Sheriff Mina um, have suffered the unfortunate, uh, um, I, I should say, yeah, the unfortunate of having a mass shooting in our jurisdiction. So the idea was to come together and, uh, and, and really talk about best practices, talk about what he went through, what I went through, what we've learned from it, bring in subject matter experts, uh, not only to guide someone through an event like this should it happen, uh, but also to work at prevention. So tell us a little bit about uh, your own experiences and what you have learned. Well, you know, we, we faced uh, many challenges uh, with our situation in Orlando on June 12th, uh, going over three years ago. But uh, some of the challenges and some of the lessons learned were, uh, you know, better communication with our, our fire rescue. Uh, really, I think it's important to rely upon uh, incident command. And, and those those challenges you face when you have such a large incident, and then we dealt with you know, self deployment, and uh, we had over 300 you know officers and deputies respond, 27 different agencies. So uh, just to control all that uh, can be a struggle and a challenge as well. And then, kind of what uh, I learned afterwards is uh, once the incident's over. It, it's, the work is just beginning and you know between uh, vigils and dignitary visits uh, it was quite an undertaking along with making sure all the families were taken care of and you know notifications and making sure families that were flown in from different parts of the country to be with their loved ones. Yeah, so one of the biggest takeaways I had, it kind of transcends not just policing, but culture in general. We had a mass shooter that uh, was being terminated that day at his place of employment. And so part of the culture, no one reported that. And so the message for the takeaway for everyone is to create a culture of reporting. And, you know, no one reported it to a supervisor. No one called 911. Following that, the biggest lesson I learned is that you have to spend a lot of time investing in your officer's training. We fall to the level of our training. We do not rise to the level of our expectations. And those officers had gone through active shooting, um, rescue task force. And so to your point about bringing in uh, the police and, and medics together, uh, and of course our SWAT team, we had put a lot of effort and energy and money into bringing the SWAT team uh, to the equipment and the skill level that they needed to be. And so the one lesson learned was, it was validating how you have to spend money on the front end uh, in training your officers. And then following the same thing was exactly what John said is after the incident is over now it's about taking care of your officers and it's about healing a community. So the task force so uh, it, you've had you're having the the fourth the final meeting of the task force what what, what, what are you planning to do? So what the idea of it is uh, I'd said earlier uh, because of our shootings because of the shootings in Dayton and El Paso ICP really wanted to get together and put something into the hands of chiefs of police across the country, um, how they can prepare and react to a, a mass targeted violence situation. And so before, during, and after. So before, what training, what equipment, what relationships uh, do you need? During, how to respond? And then afterwards, dealing with the aftermath uh, and you know all that assistance you're going to need uh, from the community. Then also um, propose legislation. Uh, on a variety of things. So are there any plans to release any of the reports? Yes, absolutely. The plan is not is to gather all of the information and then to disseminate it to our membership so that it can, it can benefit communities. Well, thank you both very much indeed for joining us. We really appreciate it. It's so interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.